Hey everyone, Mona Casey here, and I help you have easier conversations with the people in your life who drive you crazy. So uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a model that I've developed. And I've developed this uh, over the years, uh, like I've had 30 years of experience where I help people in difficult situations with difficult people. And I noticed that everybody who has a lot of personal power, where they've reached a level where they feel like they're really in control of their lives, where they really feel respected, where they really have what they want, they've all gone up the same ladder. Like they may, some people may grow up like feeling like this their whole lives, but most of us have to sort of learn some things along the way to feel like this. And I've noticed that there's a certain pattern that occurs all the time. And I wanted to share it with you. So if we were going to go up a ladder and all the different rungs, we all sort of start out at the same place on the bottom of the ladder, which is where we are stuck and dissatisfied with things that are going on in our lives. And we know that we're there when, um, and we recognize people who are there as well. Uh, we know because these people uh, are always uh, blaming others for things. They're uh, second guessing themselves. It's never their fault. There's a lot of anxiety. Uh, there's a lot of wishing going on uh, where they say, if only these people would do what I, what I, would like then the world would be a happier place and uh, one person the other said uh the other day said to me oh it's like they're wallowing they're wallowing and they don't know how to get out uh, so they're sort of just living in this wish world where they really aren't trying anything different uh, and sort of like Einstein's theory of insanity but they're expecting different results so they're stuck in this uh, dissatisfied way of living they don't feel heard they feel invisible they don't feel respected. And they don't know how to feel like that either. So at some point, something changes. And that's when they make the decision that they're going to do something about it, that they're gonna take some kind of action. They make the decision to change. In fact, this is a critical point. This is where, when people really get to this, this critical point, this is when they say, I'm going to do something because this is no longer acceptable. And when they do that, they start doing the work to get to the level of having personal power. Pretty much everybody I've talked to that is really confident in everything, they tell me about different times in their lives, and I've witnessed people go through this. And the first thing they do is um, they do sort of a values clarification thing, a ZC. So they clarify what is important to me, what is it that I really want, because if we can't express what we really want to someone, we're not going to get it. If we're not really clear as to what is important, we're not going to be able to invite it into our lives or to, um, to, to do whatever it takes in our lives to get it. So a value, a values clarification for some people, what's the most important is making lots of money for other people. It's their family for other people. It's their health uh, for people. Some people um, it, it's, it's being authentic. It's being, uh, you know, being feeling respected, feeling heard it could be all types of things. So we need to know what is it that is important to us. Then the next thing they do, once they realize what's important, they start putting action plans into place. So I have people um, who are doing things where they're dealing with difficult people. And so when they've done their values clarification as to what they want from these people, you're going to notice that I said action plans because there's no one thing that we do that's going to be the same. Even though we have the same values across the board, whether we're at work or we're at home, doesn't matter. We have the same values, but the people we're dealing with have, we have a different um, power dynamic in the relationship or a different reason for the relationship. So the way we're going to, we're going to approach um, a problem with our mother-in-law is not going to be the same way how we're going to ask a boss to change their behavior or expectations of us or a colleague or a subordinate. We really have to do it differently. So we need different action plans for the different types of relationships. And we also, when we're clear on what we're looking for, uh, we also have to add the action plans on uh, other people's personalities, taking that into account. How am I going to approach this person? So not just the power dynamics, but just their personalities. Once people get really good 
at figuring out this person it could be a difficult person for different reasons like some people say the most difficult people are the angry people and other people say no the most difficult person to deal with is one who won't even respond so we have to look at well what is it about this person that's so difficult and we have to approach them differently because to be able to go up the ladder of personal power we need to know what motivates us but we also need to know what motivates them so then at the next level, this is when we're getting really close to the top because now we start to develop emotional mastery. And what I mean by that is that when we are faced with that difficult person, we know that we're gonna be able to handle what's coming our way when we see them walking in the door and we're not even worried about it. We're at peace with whatever's about to happen. When we can have emotional mastery, it means that we're not taking things personally, we're not getting into our stress response immediately upon seeing someone, and we're able to continue to think critically when we are in our emotional mastery space. And when that happens, we really reach the top rung of the ladder, and that is when we exude confidence and we have a lot of respect uh, that we both give and receive to the people around us because uh, when we are at the top of the ladder of personal power, people look to us as people of influence, they look to us as models, as role models, and so we know we're at the top. So what I'd like to invite you to do is, um, I'd like you to take a look at this ladder and do you know if you are above or below this critical point that you feel Oh, I'm really clear on what my values are. I'm really good at uh, knowing and knowing as I see something happen, I can re respond appropriately and I have total mastery over my emotions while I'm doing it. And I feel confident and respected no matter what I'm doing. I feel pretty darn good. Or are you someone who's second guessing yourself? I'd love to know um, if this makes sense to you and if there is um, something that you would like me to clarify, please let me know. And uh, reach out to me if you're interested in knowing more about my coaching programs. I'm gonna, I'm right now, I've got some spots open for discovery calls. So if you're interested in going up the ladder, now's maybe a good time for us to talk and see if I'm the one to help you with that. And if not, that's okay too. But, um, but if you're stuck down here, you got to get some help. We may as well start a conversation and see if I'm the right person for you. In the meantime, I hope uh, this was helpful and uh, I hope we speak soon. Take care now. Bye.